When Carlina White was just 19 days old, she was kidnapped from a New York City hospital. This was in 1987. The kidnapping sparked a citywide and nationwide search for the infant, and her family was left in agony, not knowing what became of their child. Now, more than 23 years later, news that Carlina White is alive and well, and she's been reunited with her biological parents. Carlina White's story begins in Harlem Hospital on August 4, 1987. ABC News says Carlina's parents brought their 19-day-old daughter to the hospital's emergency room because she was running a fever. That is where Carlina vanished. ABC says Carlina's family indicated that a mystery woman who'd been hanging around the hospital for weeks disguised as a nurse might be the person who took Carlina. Despite a $10,000 reward offer for Carlina's safe return and countless hours of police work, Carlina was never found. Flash forward to 2011. The New York Daily News says Carlina contacted her parents, Joy White and Carl Tyson, on January 4th to let them know she was safe. White told the Daily News she first became suspicious about her identity as a teenager. ABC News says Carlina White took matters into her own hands and eventually began searching the internet for missing children, using her birth year to find a baby photo and composite picture from the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. ABC said she called the center's hotline in December 2010, telling them, I don't know who I am. A DNA test was performed, and it confirmed Carlina White's true identity. According to reports, Carlina White was brought to Connecticut as an infant, where she was raised under the alias Nedra Nance by a woman the Daily News identifies as Cassandra Petway. Authorities are not saying if they think Petway was the woman who abducted Carlina. NYPD Deputy Commissioner Paul Brown is quoted by the Daily News as saying, police don't have enough probable cause to make an arrest in the case. For more information on this topic, visit the link below.